Me, 35 male, with my wife, 39 female of 10 years. Confession of past cheating, admittance of current mental cheating, and me, not knowing what to do. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Me, 35 male, with my wife, 39 female of 10 years. Confession of past cheating, admittance of current mental cheating, and me, not knowing what to do. My wife and I have been very happy for the past 10 years. To preface everything, I need to say that my wife is honest to a fault. If there is such a thing, for example, she will dutifully tell me that she went out of lunch and how much it costs. Even though she manages the finances and I've expressed that she doesn't need to tell me these things. I mention honesty and guilt because I don't know if the issues I'm currently facing would even exist for most people. And if not, should I handle this differently? We talk all the time but a topic of cheating is not overcome up before. Tonight, my wife mentioned that she needed to tell me some things because she is always so open about everything I knew it would be trouble. She insisted that she share a story of her youth when she had a boyfriend and a different boy happened to be interested in her at the same time, high school age. When the second boy finally professed his love, she told me that she was confused about what her heart really wanted. In her honesty, she brought this up with her existing boyfriend. Basically saying that she wasn't sure who she loved or what she wanted. Her boyfriend shut the relationship down right there, rightfully IML. My wife said that after that happened, she realized that she truly did love her now ex-boyfriend, but he was no longer willing to take her back. Her emphasis in this whole story is how she was caught off guard and could not process the emotions well. She then mentioned that roughly a year ago, she started a long-distance fling with a co-worker who had a girlfriend at a time. They were working closely on a project and eventually, he somehow expressed his interest in her. She played long as she mentioned that she felt she needed to reciprocate for him going out on a limb emotionally. Because this was a long distance, the physical contact was limited. They did end up kissing during an overseas visit, work-related, but only once and nothing more than that. He broke off the kissing at that instance, and she broke off the relationship saying that she just could no longer do it. She justified that because it ended, and she felt our love rekindle afterwards that this would be better left unmentioned. A part of me agrees, but in reality... I'm glad she confessed. It's not an easy thing to do. Thinking this was the end and feeling like this is something repairable, she went on to mention that since that time she had had confusion in her heart, crushes to be exact. There has not been anything inappropriate other than flirting and her own thoughts. I do believe her when she says she has not had any further instances where a crush during physical, but in my mind, the two seem very similar to each other. I'm struggling because I know it is human nature to have those butterflies in your stomach when someone might like you or you might like them. But I think there are a lot of steps between that and being willing to cheat on our spouse with them. When asked about her intentions, she said that she is not necessarily actively pursuing this man who is a business associate. She doesn't work with him, and I don't know him. They have had four to five emails back and forth only, but when pressed, she did say that if he were to make a move, that she would reciprocate. This is the kind of brutally honest that I am having a hard time dealing with. She has had limited conversations with this man, who is a family as well and have only emailed back and forth a few times 
not work-related, but nothing's salacious. Food that each other liked to eat, apparently. At the start of the conversation, I believed that she was unloading something off her chest, and then we would move on to forgiveness and repair. But it turns out that she is telling me out of guilt and that she does not feel like she knows what or who she wants. I know this is getting long, so I'll we'll try and hurry it up. Basically, in her mind, she wants to see if the grass is indeed greener on the other side. With the option of going back to the original field if things don't pan out. I am completely opposed to this. Before making this determination, I was fishing around to see if she wanted more of an open type relationship. And at first, she seemed keen on the idea. But then I explained that those only work for some people when they are completely open and honest. Honestly, not sure if it really works or if it only works for one of the two or if it doesn't work at all. She did not feel comfortable telling me who this person was. The only part she admitted up front is that she doesn't work with him and that I have never met him. I failed to mention this. But we have two young kids. Anyways, I told her that I think she should temporarily move out. She could come back after work and help put kids to bed, but then I wanted her gun. I don't want her gun, but this pains me. I told her as much that it will be a huge void in my life. But either the marriage has failed, and that is a bridge to cross eventually anyways, or... It will help her realign her priorities in life. I, of course, feel betrayed, but I also feel relief that she finally opened up and was so honest. Everything except the name of the guy, which I don't really care about anyways. It was just how firm she was that she didn't want to tell me that caused me a little concern. I told her that she should confine with a social worker. I see one for depression and that they would not judge her and would have her best interest at heart. I said, we could do marriage counseling, but if she wouldn't go for a social work, then a marriage counselor is out of the question. She doesn't feel convinced that this crush is going to go anywhere, but she either doesn't feel like she can control how she feels for him, or she doesn't want to. She said, she isn't actively escalating it, which doesn't really elevate much. But there's a dat. I forgot to mention that there was another business contact number of months back that caused her similar feelings, but there was never any action taken. I told her that at this point, there are really four scenarios. First, she does not communicate with me her intentions to cheat and she does cheat. And I found out, worst scenario. Second, she expresses her intent to allow nature to take its course and then she ends up cheating, close to worst, but at least she's honest. Third, she expresses her intent to allow nature to take its course, but nothing comes of it. And I always wonder when we're going to have this conversation again. And finally, fourth, she wakes up from some delusion and realizes she belongs to me, and it's almost a Disney ending. I realize even this will require some patch of work. How normal is it to have these infatuation after 10 plus years? I thought it was strange that she pretty much said that prior to this last year, she never really had any feelings like this. But this is now. The third person in a year. Am I justified in asking her to move out? It wasn't like an ultimatum. We talk about having her just stay at someone's house while they were away. Another house in essence with complete privacy, anonymity, so that this could be as a temporary as necessary or it would give her time to find a place if it kept going on. What should I do? I have one of the busiest work days of the year today, and I am mentally wrecked, no sleep plus all of the above. Even if there was some cave to crawl into, 
I don't think that would help at all. If nothing else, I appreciate being able to unload this off my chest. I realize I have a huge path in front of me no matter what happens. I don't feel like this is beyond repair. But I also don't want to be too lax or too forceful and cause things to turn out worse than they would otherwise be.